Explain yeah. to me how you turn on the ability to edit a macro. Okay. So I guess if you're in memory, MDI, settings, parameter right, enable on, and normally it'll give you an alarm, but I turned it off. So cancel reset at the same time will make the map make the alarm go away. Oh. System 3202, which we'll just go somewhere else real quick. 3202 search and change one to a zero. So that allows me to edit 9,000 programs. Okay, so that's uh, any nine, whatever that means in yeah. In 3202. Yep. Uh, four. So now, program folder. I want this one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. Copy it. I'm gonna dump it in system. Now I'm gonna change it. Edit. I'll show you all. The next step will be why I changed the time. Okay. And I'm gonna change right here to T20 and H. So remind me what uh, the pound sign or the hashtag does. So these are macro variables and one through 26 are associated to letters as okay. well. So A is one, B is two, T is 20. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is go back to system 60, 55. So you tell it a, a tool as in T, which is the 20th letter of the alphabet. Uh-huh. And so 6057 is associated to program 9017. So if I give it, I'm gonna give it a 150. What does 150 mean? That is... Are you in the wrong mode and you had to go to MDI? Yes. So that is, when I call up G150, it is going to jump in to 9017. Oh. Now how, how are 6057 and 97... That's no, our 9017 related. Do you have the manuals here? I do, they're right over there. Yeah. And 6050, G code that calls the custom macro of program 9010, 9011, 9012. 6057 is 9017. And that can oh, be. Oh, okay. That's, that's permanently fixed to 9017. Yeah, always. Okay. And it has to be 9017, otherwise, it'll say, hey, this, I can't find this program. And so then, we, we could have well just named that first program 9018 and then called exactly. G, no, I, yeah. uh, you well, could have, and assign a G number yeah, to 6058 and call G6058. And you see negative 999, you could have a four digit G code, okay. anything, as long as it's not any one of these, you're okay. Huh. So you could actually have a program that, that technically runs in the background, right? Because if, if you're calling it on G1, you could have it, a program running in the background that's like doing like calculations on a G1. Every G1 move, it runs this program, it runs this program, it runs this program. I don't know what you would need it for, but I'm sure if, if you had a need, you could do it. Interesting. It, it's pretty wild. Okay. So... There's a couple other ones that I'm going to put in there for you, and I put those normally 55 and 56, which are, it's a tool life management macro that we made because I, the, the control has tool life in it, but you have to program a certain way. So you're not calling up like tool one, you set up a tool group, and 
the offsets for that. So it would be like T101, H99, D99. Well, I don't sounds like complicated. It. I don't like it. it. It is, and some people just don't want to change. So we made a macro that does tool life management. Oh. And so you just put it, you put a, you put this macro below the tool offset, and it works really well. And it'll work on any machine, for the most part. Huh. Yeah, on any metal, any lathe, vertical, horizontal, whatever. How about that? It probably work on a Haas, if you want huh. to. This, yeah, this manual is amazing. So, okay. so we set this. So now I can call a G150. Yep. And this is where it gets important. T20. H20. 